Well, the Federal Reserve Bank is a fraud. It was uh, created in 1913 through an act of Congress. Uh, many people who don't know the story should read a book called uh, The Creature from Jekyll, Jekyll Island, Island right, yeah, yep. by G. Edward Griffin. And, uh, and the, the Fed, again, this has been said over and over, but it's not federal and it has no reserves. Um, the Federal Reserve, in essence, is a private institution that has zero accountability. It has zero oversight. Uh, we have numerous videos on our website, ftmdaily.com, of case in point of the Federal Reserve being in front of Congress and having zero answers to questions that we should expect as citizens to, to have from a central bank. If you're a bank and you want to make profits, do you want to lend to somebody like me or you, or do you want to lend to Walmart? I think you want to lend to Walmart because right. you're going to get a lot better return and you're also going to get a guaranteed return sure. almost. A lot of now, assets to back it up. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, if you're a bank, do you want to lend to Walmart or do you want to lend to the United States government? Well, it all depends. It all depends. Does that government have a federal income tax where the government can actually stick their hands into your pockets, pull money out by force, and then give it to the banksters? Mm -hmm. If they do, then the bank wants to lend to the government. So in 1913, they passed first a federal income tax. Then came the Federal Reserve Act. And that allowed then a guarantee to be made to the bank. Don't worry. We're going to borrow from you, and we'll pay you interest. And if we ever can't come up with cash, cough it up, you know, we have this income tax. We can always go extract from the, from the people. So the Federal Reserve, in many ways, is unnecessary. It's a fraud. Um, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution says that the United States has the permission, the Congress has the express permission to coin money and regulate the value thereof. It never gives the Congress the ability to outsource uh, that, that uh, certainly, and certainly not to a private, uh, autonomous uh, banking uh, system that is known for its corruption uh, worldwide. Uh, the Federal Reserve has a lot to answer. Over $9 trillion has left our economy, has left their printing press to foreign banks. Uh, part hmm. of, of the bailout that occurred back in, the, in 2008, 2009, uh, there were all kinds of unbelievable reports coming out from the Congress and no answers. So the Federal Reserve is an absolute fraud. It needs to be ended. And the, what you would have to do is you would have to basically take that back to Congress. Now, Congress doesn't want the Article One, Section 8 because they realize that if they, if they actually coined the money, well, A, if you coin money, what are you going to coin it out of? What did George Washington say? Gold and silver. Yeah. And he passed the Coinage Act of 1792. George Washington said this whenever he signed the bill. And the bill reads this way. If anyone ever creates paper money, ever, let them be hung. Hmm. Hang them. Hang them. It's death penalty. Uh, Currency Act of 1792. Well... Now his picture, you know, it graces the face of, uh, of the, of the uh, $1 bill. So, he, you know, he would actually have hung somebody for making that dollar bill. <laughs> and at the very top, it says Federal Reserve Note. Now, that should tip us off. It used to say Silver Certificate. Now it says Federal Reserve Note. If I say I have a car note, does that mean I have a, an asset? Maybe. But I certainly have a loan. So a car right. note means I have a car loan. Uh, if I have a Federal Reserve Note in my pocket, it means I have a Federal Reserve Loan. Here's the big secret that the Federal Reserve doesn't want you to know. They loan the dollars to the government. The government then puts those into circulation, and then we use them. But they all have to be paid back with interest to the Federal Reserve. Hmm. Who creates the interest to be paid back? The Federal Reserve. They no. set the rate, don't they? No, the interest does not exist. This is why bankruptcies and foreclosures are built into the system. So if, if we say... If we say we need we need 10 million Federal Reserve notes, no problem. So we issue the bonds, and then we get the money from the Fed. The Fed gives us the money. Now, they say, no problem, we'll give it to you, and we're going to set our own rates, and we need you to pay us back 3%. Well, we've only got the amount of money they gave us. Where do we get the interest from? The interest does not exist. And so there is no interest to pay back, therefore... You have to have foreclosures. You have to have bankruptcies. You have to have defaults because it's a game of musical chairs in this fractional reserve banking. There is not enough money in the system to pay off all the debt. Mm -hmm. um, and the Federal Reserve knows this, and the Congress knows this. At least some of them do. Uh, but, you know, you'd be surprised because it was probably 20 or 30 years ago there was a survey done where uh, congressmen were asked 
you know, is the dollar backed by uh, uh, gold? And, you know, most of them thought that it was. And this, of course, was way after the fact that it wasn't. So I would say that many of our congressmen, many of them may be malicious, but I'm sure many of them are just ignorant. 